Hi everybody, today we have a little bit something different planned. As you can see, it's a snowy day and I couldn't get out metal detecting. But I read a book and it's by a metal detectorist, so I'm going to tell you all about it. And I'm out here at the bird feeding station. I just cleared off the place for them and they're ready to eat. Let's check it out. Got some little um, dark-sided juncos, white crown sparrows, and uh, the quail are just out of sight, waiting for me to leave. So we watch this from the kitchen window. It's pretty exciting. All right, let's check it out. Oh, there's a quail now. Oh, he says, "Oh, you're still here." Before we get on to our video, we need to let the cats out and bring them in the house. They have their own room out here in the bunkhouse. And we have a heating lamp going on in here. So, time to let them out. It's 9 degrees this morning. It's 34 in here. If I can open the door. Okay, there's the heating lamp. Time to turn it off. There's my kitties. They're ready to come in. I just had to shovel a little bit of new snow this morning out to the cat room. Hi everybody. Today I want to give a shout out to Jersey Ray Diggs for sending me this gift that I won on her live stream. It is a book written by another metal detectorist. Uh, his name is Chris Benoit and uh, his channel is B3 Relic Recovery. So, but uh, check him out. I'll put the link in the description. She sent this to me directly from Amazon and sent me a little note with it. So thank you so much, Rachel, uh, for this wonderful gift. Now, what I'd like to do is give you a little review of this book. And uh, it's an interesting book, and he has a really good imagination. Um, it has to do with metal detecting. And it has to do with a ghost from a relic that he discovered. And he goes into the whole history of this person, and um, he has this really interesting um, relic room that he keeps the stuff he finds. And um, the book has an interesting mystery he has to figure out. And so much of the time it had me on the edge of my seat. And um, so I I think it's a really interesting book, even if you're not into ghosts, because I'm really not. <laughs> but it was a very interesting read. And like I said, it had me on the edge of my seat. And he left it open at the end for a sequel. So I imagine he'll be writing another book uh, similar to this one, but I found it very interesting, and it was a quick read. Um, I read it on the first day of this big uh, snow event. Now that I've read this book, I'd like to give this to somebody else. So when I reach 100 subs, I am going to have a 1K giveaway, and this will be one of the things I give away. You know, I've already read it. I don't want it to just sit around here, and it's still brand new, so it's pretty cool. And by the way, I uh, um, wanted to show you this. Uh, where is it? He gave acknowledgments to um, all treasure hunters. And um, he also gave acknowledgments to uh, some other YouTubers, Flash in the Pan, Ohio Metal Maven, Nailed It Detecting, and Jersey Ray Diggs. So it's a really interesting book, and uh, maybe one of you will win it on my 1K giveaway. I'm only about, le well, less than 30 away from that, so sometime this year I should be having a giveaway. I'd also like to do some shout outs to some people that I recently won on their um, live streams. And some of them are a little further back um, within the past couple months, two or three months. Um, 
I won this silver dime from Digging Canuck. Thank you so much. I actually won three times from Rob at um, Florida Thunder. So I have some silver coins here. And from M.A. Lyman, um, he sent me some coins. And it's kind of funny, I didn't realize that I didn't actually win. So I sent him an email and he actually sent me a prize anyway. <laughs> he was so gracious. Uh, thank you so much, Mike. And here's the, the a sticker he also sent for B3 Relic Recovery, which uh, wrote that book. And then uh, further back, I won on Nick Molnar's live stream these cool coins. Um, and these came actually from Ogre Coins. They donated it to his live stream that day. So thank you so much. Those are really neat. And I'll put their links in the description. I also got this really neat Christmas card from Deej at Digging with Deej. It's time to make a snow angel. Okay, let's see how it looks. Oh my goodness, I'm covered in snow. How was it? Check it out. There it is. Well, this side isn't too good because that's where I had to get up. All right, snow angels. Woohoo! There's my little digging area over there. We got a little pheasant trail here over to the feeding area. Quail have been coming. And the little Oregon juncos, white crown sparrows. We had a some doves, starling, blackbird. Quail just flew in for a bite to eat before nightfall. Wow, you guys, this snow um, has really good snowflakes that you can actually see on this um, railing. And so I just took some macro photographs of them. Um, but it's pretty cool. Sometimes the snow, you can actually see the perfectly formed snowflakes. And it's really snowing now. Got an east wind. Uh, two to eight inches today. I'm thinking we're gonna get eight. I'm editing my video. This is January 18th. Tomorrow, it's gonna come out. And I gotta go feed the little birds. And little quail. There's dark-sided juncos. There's white crown sparrows. Quail. I just put some new cracked corn out. Here are some of the snowflake pictures I took. I didn't use a tripod or anything. I just held on to the camera. So they're a little bit blurry, but I think they still turned out pretty good. Today I found treasure in that book and you might just like it too. Thank you everybody for watching my videos and being part of my team. Join me in these videos, treasure hunting on this ranch. And if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing and smash that like button. 